Your Eminence, welcome back to the Oval Office. It's the second opportunity I've had to meet with uh, one of the distinguished leaders of a free Iraq. كما نعتقد أن الموضوع العراقي يجب أن يحل عراقيا وبمساعدة من الأصدقاء والأشقاء إذا فإننا نرفض أي مسعى إقليمي ودولي يتجاوز نتائج العملية السياسية. Therefore, we believe that the Iraqi issue should be solved by the Iraqis with the help of friends uh, everywhere. But we reject uh, any attempts to have a regional or international role in solving uh, the Iraqi issue. Uh, we cannot bypass the political process. Iraq should be in a position to solve Iraqi problems. The necessities uh, that the Iraqi armed forces will need in terms of armament, in terms of trainings, uh, in order to be in a position to assume the security file. <laughs> Uh, we have gone a long way to establish a democratic and pluralistic society in Iraq. We have given a great deal of sacrifice toward achieving that objective. والشعوب الصديقة التي وقفت مع الشعب العراقي وفي مقدمتها الشعب الأمريكي. We cherish all the sacrifices that took place for the liberation and the freedom of Iraq. Sacrifices by the Iraqi people as well as friendly nations. And on top of that list, sacrifices by the Americans. Uh, I appreciate so very much His Eminence's commitment to a unity government. I assured him the United States supports his work and the work of the Prime Minister to unify the country. Part of unifying Iraq is for the elected leaders and society leaders to reject the extremists that are trying to stop the advance of this young democracy can do that which the Iraqi people want, which is to secure their country from the extremists and murderers. I, I told His Eminence that I was proud of the courage of the Iraqi people. I told him that we are not satisfied with the pace of progress in Iraq, and that we want to continue to work with the sovereign government of Iraq